Okay, so today, me, Ethan, and our good friend Clayton are going snow caving up in the mountains oh, yeah. here. It's going to be really fun. He got his snow machine here. We got it all loaded up with all the supplies we need, wrapped in a tarp. It's going to be all pretty fun. Stuff. And so it's hard. so hard, snow's packed so hard that we need to take chainsaws. And it's like zero degree weather, so it's going to be pretty cold. But we're gonna sleep under the snow in a cave, yeah. so that's gonna be pretty fun. And we got the trusty 22 here in case bears. Just kidding, of course there's no <laughs> bears out right now. But it's for like ptarmigan or something, so it's gonna be pretty fun. of the part was pretty easy it was just flat and yesterday Clayton's dad shot a coyote and we brought the carcass up here to put it out as a lure for other coyotes and wolves and foxes and whatever want to come and eat it and then in the morning with all this fresh snow we can see the tracks and we might be able to track something down or shoot something off the carcass that would be pretty fun <laughs> So we were coming up this pretty steep hill down here. We we're coming up and then I think we had a mishap. Someone flipped over. As you can see, it's pretty deep snow. Oh, they got it back up. It was completely flipped on one side. So I better get out of this trench here. Go, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, man, that was hard. This is like, I don't know. Mr. Coyote, though, I mean, he had a lot He's of fun. He's pretty lazy. Yeah. He didn't do much. Nope. Didn't lift a finger. We had to carry his weight. <laughs> but that's probably weighs maybe like 200 pounds. Oh, it's it's probably more than that because it weighs probably like about 300 pounds almost. Pretty hard also. It got so hot. Anyways, there's lots of more hills, but hopefully we'll be able to this, pull them up. I know there's one hill that I definitely will make it up. We made it to the top with this bulky sled. It's so beautiful up here. See right there is metal lakes, but so beautiful up here. Let's roll. Okay, we gotta dig a snow cave, so that'll take a while. Oh, and we're also gonna hunt some ptarmigan. It's gonna be pretty fun. And there's like a Clayton person behind me. Hey! <laughs> so we stopped at this little gully here. And Clayton thinks this is a good place. We can see there's a big 
drift up here. So we started digging right there just to see if we hit the dirt. And we haven't yet. It, it looks it, like it just might work. And if it doesn't, we're going to have to find a different place. But hopefully this, is, this, will, this will do it. So yeah, let's start digging. Start digging. Now the work begins. So this time we brought a chainsaw along. Battery chainsaw so we don't run off gas. But uh, we brought three batteries. Hopefully it'll last chain does not really have to be sharp because it's cutting snow but hopefully we don't hit the ground but i think this is gonna be way faster than just digging this packed snow so here it goes oh yeah it's blinking I'll try to chop that out. Oh. Hey, oh, yeah. Here comes Mr. Swiss and Rescue to check up on us. Hey, come back! Okay, so it's been two hours since we started digging. And let's see, let's check it out, how much we've got done. So we got this, this shelf here, right here. This is actually gonna, we changed it. We're gonna have a bunk right here for Clayton and then there, there's gonna be a bench. And then right back here, we've got this whole big bed chamber. Justin's gonna sleep there in that cavity and I'm gonna sleep this way. Because the reason why we change it is because we hit all that dirt. We can't sleep on that. So he's going to sleep there. I'm going to sleep here. Clayton's going to sleep here. And we did it in two hours. That's three times longer. That, that's three times shorter than we would have done it if, if um, we wouldn't have had a chainsaw. The chainsaw really helps. You can just cut blocks and just chip them out. It's so fun. And it's pretty cloudy. It's flat light. You can't really see good. But... Um, uh, my dad and Clayton's dad are coming up soon, I think, just to check on us. And I think they're going to be surprised how much we got done. We're basically done already, so anyways. Huh. We got a little Christmas tree going in here. Oh, yeah. You sleep with the Christmas tree. Oh, it smells so good. This is where my feet are going to be. Hopefully that thing doesn't collapse on me. There's where Justin's gonna be. It's, it's pretty big in here. Yeah. Biggest snow cave I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a little Christmas tree up there. There's our door post. And even Clayton's dad thought that he was, that we're gonna just, probably just gonna get done with this doorway by the time they come, which was like pretty much, like by the time they come within like 15 minutes from now, they thought we're just gonna have this, this. Our dads just thought we're just gonna have this um, cut out right now, but we got a lot more done. We're almost done, so they're gonna be surprised. Really surprised. Here they are. <laughs> yeah, that'll make a good sled roll. All right, let's check it out. We're done. So right here we have a storage, storage place. Right here too. Then we've got a place to store our backpacks right there. A little ledge right here. This is Clayton's bunk here. Another little storage place. My place right here storage place there and another 
sleeping bag where Justin's gonna sleep. So it's pretty roomy in here and it's so nice. Well, we're gonna go and get some firewood now and start a fire and eat some supper. Well, we started the fire. Yep, nice Glorious. Meat. Got some firewood. Splitting it right beside our legs, which is not very smart. Oh yeah, you're just making- Pile it. driving. Yeah, pile driving. Here, get it? Yep. All right, go. First try. Oh yeah. Totally, man. Okay, for supper here we have these potatoes that we wrapped in tin foil and we're gonna lay them on the coals right there to bake. Mm. Set it right there. Right here. This one, I'm gonna wait. Like that? Right there. Up there, wow. Now, we put the potatoes in there, the coals, and we're going to take that coyote that Clayton shot, or his dad shot, here's some steps, and we are going to dump it somewhere out there, hopefully a lynx or another coyote or something will come and take a bite out of it. So we got this grate here and we're gonna put a teapot on top of it, filled up with snow. Oh and that is not on. working right now. Oh. Well maybe it's working. Hey, hey that'll work. Hey. There we go. So as the potatoes are getting baked, we'll be making tea. It's great. Okay, we just got done eating supper and we had some <coughs> smoked salmon. Yeah. And, it was pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. And, and some hot dogs. This, this, is, uh, this is this shows how cold it is. See here? It's ice. Put that in your sleeping bag tonight. And this is not ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we also Okay, what is he doing exactly? He is, want he likes burning his hands, I think. His his leg. His big leg. His big leg. His big leg. Huh, he's a little strange. Probably, Probably, yeah. We also had some tea, hot chocolate, and some bars that my mom just baked earlier today. So it was really good. And so I we're now. Guess how many Ethan had? Yeah. And Ethan had six! Yeah! Or maybe seven. And there was only like seven of them. <laughs> so now we got this tarp. We put a stick up there over the entrance tuck the tarp over it now it's hanging down and we're putting some snow on the bottom and to just seal it off a little better and go around the edge and we'll be all tight in there all nice and cozy yep okay oh uh what do you have for your pantry back there midnight snack oh, oh i got cheese what cheese what granola bars oh gr granola bars Hey! Some chips. Oh, uh, hey! Stock pantry. Man. Ooh, beef jerky. Uh, well, hey! Well, I, I need some of that. Hey. That's some sandwiches. What? What else do you got? I got some pants back here, too. <laughs> oh, they, that might taste good. They're not really good. Oh. Man, you got a stock freezer back there. Mm. Some nice food. If only I had, like, ice cream. Then it would actually freeze. <laughs> well, here we are. Good night! Good night. There's a huge grub that we found here digging in there. <laughs> but anyways, 
That is Clayton with his overstock pantry. And then right here is where we put our our uh, packs, our boots, water bottles and storage, his head, more storage, and then more storage. And then that's where I sleep. Ethan is sleeping here. And good night to ye all. Uh, okay, it's the next morning and you can see it's daylight outside. Oh, I slept pretty good though. I woke up pretty often. Let's see. Let's see if those other guys are awake. What? He's sitting up and staring at me. Okay, you can shut that off. Wow. There you go. It's really cool. Nice and cozy. Buddy. We put on the jet boil this morning and to heat this up a little bit, and it definitely warmed this up inside here. Now we're gonna go outside, start making a fire and eat some breakfast. Okay, now we're going outside to see how it is outside. And yay, I have a frozen coat to put on this morning. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's still cloudy, but it's not windy at all. It, oh, it's not that foggy like it was last night. Good. Oh, nice, but you can see it snowed a little bit. And it's cold. Yeah, it's cold out here. And it's cold. <laughs> but it's like significantly more warmer in here. Yeah, and it's cold. Hey! And it's really cold. Quit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go get some more firewood. Okay, we're all loaded up and we're ready to go back. And look, it's clearing up, yay. Pretty nice out here. Okay, this morning we're having this breakfast sausage for breakfast. The sausages that we've made with our moose meat, uh, deer and grizzly bear meat. So we're gonna fry it in a pan of butter. We don't have much butter left, but hopefully this fire will keep going. It's dying down a little bit, but uh, it's gonna taste pretty good. This wood is a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really have much butter, but <laughs> there's lots of little floaties in there, a piece of bark, but eh, it adds flavor, I guess. Okay, change of plan. So we are actually going to stay here another night because it was so fun. We're just having too much fun, so we're gonna go riding now and look for ptarmigan. So, let's roll. We were just driving up here and we spot some ptarmigan. See those wing patterns right there? They flew off. And I think we spotted one right over here in this bush. I'm gonna go over and try to shoot it. Shoot. You got it, you got it. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness, come look at this thing! Wow, look how buried that is. That looks nice. Okay, we just saw another group of coming again, and Justin's gonna try to shoot one.
camera gun we shot with a 22 semi-automatic. His gun is really cool. We have uh, five willow ptarmigan and one white-tailed ptarmigan. It doesn't have a black tail, but the willow ptarmigan are black tailed. The white-tailed ptarmigan just have white tails. It's really cool. Yeah, and it's extremely cold up here, but it's a clear day. It's so yeah, fun. It's so beautiful. Okay, the phone's almost dead, so. Well, we got back from uh, ptarmigan hunting again after um, we came back. We ate something, then left again, and we didn't see any ptarmigan or. No, nope, yeah. we got one. We've seen, we've seen one. Or, oh, right, right, right. We saw one. Clayton actually literally drove over it. It was bedded down underneath the snow and he drove, like, drove right over it. But, anyways, we got back and here's the fire. And here is the meal that we have prepared. Good. We have some like potato soup that Clayton's mom made and some uh, charmigan that we're roasting and we have potatoes down there in the coals and we're making tea so it's gonna be very good and we also have some bagels oh and some like sausage it's gonna be pretty good and it's supposed to be very cold tonight a lot colder than yesterday so we I don't know if it will work but we drilled a hole up through that little corner there that box and we might make a fire in there in the morning see how good it does and the smoke will rise through the top so quiet we only saw like two people today okay. so since our uh phone and gopro is basically dead so we couldn't really video a whole, whole lot but right there is actually our door all the way down there and uh, we cut a piece um, so that we could have a breathing hole there and as you can see the ceiling is actually all icy because we put this fire here and it see it just blew up like that and it did not work it come that chimney did not work. It was completely smoky in here. So it drafted the wrong direction very strangely for yeah. some reason. So, but it is, it's like about 17 below here. And let's see, what's the temp? 18-ish. It's 18 in it's, here. It's going up it, too. It's, 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 it keeps on going up. So it'll probably get 20, 25 yeah. maybe. It is extremely warm in here. Okay. Well, good night. Good night. Yeah. I didn't say good night to you, Clayton. Nice. Got that one started. It's like 20 below out here. Pretty cold. Got to make sure they start. So nice out here. Blue skies and pink on the horizon. So beautiful up here and quiet. You can see the trails that we went up and down the mountain to look for ptarmigan. Well, we're packing up, got everything out of the cave, put it on that sled there. We ate breakfast. It's a clear day, it's so beautiful out here, and we're gonna go uh, time again hunting for a little bit, then come back and load everything up and then head down. So, hopefully, we get some time again. That would be nice. So, we're gonna go out time again hunting now for about an hour and a half. Yep, so. and then we're gonna come back, we'll get the sled and the chainsaws, and then we'll start heading down the mountain. Yeah, oh, yeah, and then by 1 30, we'll be up on this mountain for 48 hours. 
in the freezing cold. Freezing yep. cold, it's, it's like 20 below It's right now. almost 20 below right now. Sun's oh. coming out though. Yeah. Very nice. Well, we stopped the snow machines and started walking down here because we heard there's a plane that crashed on the slope and we can see it sticking out there. A long time ago this plane crashed here on this ridge. Wow. And we want to come up. Look at that. Pretty terrible crash. There's Denali. One bird. Wow. Well, we got back. We are ready to leave. Here's our shelter. Ugh. Oh, goodbye. Such a beautiful day out here. been here for officially 48 hours oh yeah yep we've not left this mountain for two days and two nights so we're gonna head back now it's cold it's pretty fun pretty and it's fun. cold we yeah. saw three moose and shot six ptarmigan seven 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 actually seven yeah. ptarmigan yeah we got here during the night was about 20 below yep 